Halloween's coming, cried Jasper as he glanced at the calendar on the fridge. We can plan our costumes, draw a map, and dash yes, his mom said, but Halloween's seven days away. No brainstorming right now. He slumped in his seat and ate his cereal. Anyway, you're getting late for school. Jasper took a sandwich from the table and hurried with his bag on his shoulder. He grumpily walked to the bus stop. Suddenly a voice behind him shouted, He, Jasper. A week from you know what. What have you thought of by now? Hey, Liam. We'll think of something. We always do. Jasper replied as the bus honked by. Come on, we have burger day today. Both of them climbed on the bus. As they reached school, Liam pointed out of the window at a hill. What? Asked Jasper, leaning to get a closer look. That shack. At the top. Of the hill. Somebody just moved in, and they may or may not give totally awesome candy. Ryreet. I'll put that on the map. After a while, they jumped off the bus and went to their respective classes. Hey. Liam. Let's meet at the benches in that common free period. Sure. Well, Miss Harvey offers some great candy, said Liam as they were drawing their Halloween map. Yeah, and we could go to JD's place. Yup. Jasper was scribbling on a page when Liam said, What about that shack? You know, the one which I pointed at in the bus. Let's go there. No, replied Jasper. Totally. No way. Yes. God, no. We have to. No. In the end, it was decided that they were going to the shack. Mostly because Liam was way stronger than Jasper. Okay, said Jasper as he was adding some finishing touches, our map is drawn. Now our Costa dash the bell rung, let's go. Liam said frantically as he ran to the doors. Jasper got up and trudged along to his history class. Why did I venture up here, thought Jasper, as he ran to the shack on the hill. I should have not come just for the sake of adventure. His breathing was jagged. It would be, considering the distance he ran and the cold in the night. A piercing cold. He reached the porch of the shack. It was old-fashioned and needed a touch of paint. There was a rocking chair which was creaking in the late evening. There is something wrong about this place, he thought, something very wrong. Anyway, if I have come up here, then I should start marking up this place. One of Jasper's hobbies were marking up places. He had blueprints of every and I mean it, every building in Greentown. He had some of different towns too. He knocked on the door. The knocks seemed creepy in the twilight. C-R-E-A-A-K. There was a gust of wind, and the door creaked open. It was open all along. Jasper whispered. He went in. Hello? Anybody there? He yelled. His shouts seemed crisp and clear in the silence. Yes? A man walked out of the small kitchen. He was a little ragged looking and had a dressing robe on. He had a shaggy beard and his eyes were a forget-me-not blue. He also had a big scar on his leg, but it was barely visible because he covered it with the robe. H. Hello. I'm J. Jasper, and I live A at 134 Bryony Street. I W would like to take a tour of your H house. Jasper stammered. Of course, the man replied. By the way, call me Lance. He began marking up the house. After doing that, he noticed the scar on Lance's leg. That must have hurt, he said pointing to Lance's scar. How did you get that? Hmm. Oh that. Okay, you're one of the few people who noticed that, Lance replied, so I trust you with this secret. I am a werewolf. Are you joking? Jasper replied, feeling uncertain. No. I am deadly serious. And you must not come near me on Halloween. Why? Oh, is it because Halloween night has a full moon? Yes. Ook. Got to go now. Hey, who else is left? Asked Jasper as they walked on the street, trick-or-treating on Halloween night. Well, Mrs. Jennifer and the shack. Should we go to the shack at last? Liam replied. 
Yeah, that's, well, fine. As they went to Mrs. Jennifer's, Jasper could see the full moon shining brightly in the night. Poor Lance, he wondered, what would he be going through right now? Hello? Are you there? Liam was waving his hand in front of Jasper's face. Why yeah? Wow, you seriously blacked out. We're here. After getting some kisses and peanut cups, they heard a wolf. Eh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's classic Halloween. Werewolves. Why, yes. Anyway, we are going up that mountain. That was a climb. Liam panted as they reached the shack. Trick or treat. He shouted at the front door. Liam, yeah? We should run. At their right, a wolf, more like a werewolf, was looking at them menacingly. Eha. They ran and ran and ran. Unfortunately, what this did was bring the were slash wolf after them. Oh crap. Now what? Jasper said, as they hurtled down the slope and to the streets. Drive him away. He took some sweets from his bucket and threw it beside the were slash wolf, hoping it would distract the thing. On the contrary, it just irritated it and made it more focused on its chase. Throw something on it. Jasper said, and Liam picked up a rock and tossed it at the beast. It did make it stop. But only because he was half-blinded. Great. Now go home. They went their respective ways and the were slash wolf was severely confused, it just wandered off into the woods. Whoa, thought Jasper. That was very adventurous. But definitely not my cup of tea. The next day, Jasper was walking to school with Liam, and he glanced at the shack. It was not there. Hey, look at the hill. The shack's gone. I know. Good thing it was, too. I had a feeling that the beast came from there. The shack on the hill was gone. For good.